that is enough time to get started here. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, if you are just coming over from the main channel or you're, you know, uh, subscribed over here, I did put up a little post um, saying that we're going to do a little extra stuff on stream today. Not only are we doing the College of Winterhold quests uh, in Skyrim that we have uh, left to do, um, but uh, I got a nice little package in the mail today. Um I started to open it, uh, full disclosure, but I stopped because I was like, wait, I'm about to go live. I might as well just do this on stream. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, I will open this. I have some artwork featured in this magazine, and I think it'd be fun to uh, open it and tease that on stream. But first, um, before I open that, I think I'll we'll do we'll open that after... I pour some beverages for us to sample today. Um, so uh, I'm going to pop on over to the bar and uh, I will see you there. I may need to turn a light on really quick, but uh, bear with me. Okay. Lights are on, and I'm going to make sure that I am audible. Yes, it sounds like it. Yep. I'm going to say that's good, but I guess tell me if, if the audio's wonky. Um, the beers we have today are a strong blonde ale and a French toast stout. So... Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, up first, I saw this one when I was headed up into the mountains, but we stopped at a liquor store to get some champagne, and, uh, I just saw a little Christmassy beer from, uh, I actually don't know how to pronounce that, I'm assuming it's Ama Gang, but, uh, I could be wrong, um, but it's called Everything Nice. Um, and it is a spiced, strong, blonde ale. Um, so, yeah, that's everything nice. Um, very holiday-themed. And then we have Left Hand Brewing's French Toast Milk Stout. Uh, Left Hand Brewing is actually right here in my hometown. So that's fun. And I let me also, I'm going to double check. Yep, there we go. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that my uh, voice was still picking up correctly. Okay, um, I'm going to grab some glassware. And actually, I have the perfect glassware for at least one of those. Um, and I'm out of the other glassware, of course. Whatever. Um, this isn't necessarily the perfect glassware for this, but oh well. Um... But this one is definitely the perfect glassware for Left Hand's French Toast Milk Stout. Because um, I don't know why I know this, but Left Hand actually also had a hand in the design of the uh, Spiegelau um, Stout glass. That's kind of seen as like the industry standard for... Um, uh, yeah, glassware for stout beers. Um, so as, as much crap as I've talked about stouts in the past, I do think that having, I don't know, uh, a stout like from the brewery that helped design the, the glass, like in the glass, is kind of cool. Um, also, sorry about the camera cutting out. Uh, I know it's uh, annoying. <laughs> uh, but... It does that. <laughs> um, okay. Um, hopefully it will stop, but uh, for the time being, we're stuck with it popping in and out <laughs> intermittently. Um, okay. And then we have our little Amagang. And uh, I'll read a little bit about these because the, the, the can and bottle 
on each of these respectively. Don't they're kind of sparing with the details about each of them, um, but uh, their websites are not. So I will uh, just read to you a little bit about them. Um, how about before we start? Well, yeah, I guess before. Um, so we'll lead with the everything nice. Um, so this is from uh, Ama Gang's website. Uh, everything nice, strong blonde ale with seasonal spices. Lightly dusted with spices of the season, everything nice is a warming, wintry, Belgian-style blonde ale. This supremely, this supremely cozy confection pairs perfectly with any traditional holiday treat. Note the flavors of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and white pepper as you sip next to the fireplace. We hope this fresh-baked offering brings warmth and light to you and yours. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, hopped with citra hops, uh, two-row barley and caramel malts, um, and then uh, spiced with cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and white pepper. Um, which makes sense uh, as far as like a Belgian style ale, um, pepper just kind of, you know, naturally uh, gets paired with that um, more often than not. So um, let's see. Yeah. Um, on the nose, it's really clove and banana. Um, maybe, it, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, there's a, uh, those are the big spices I'm picking up on. Um, uh, definitely very warming. Um, but also, I mean, the, the citra hop kind of gives it just a hint of, uh, like, citrusiness. Um, nothing crazy. I don't think they went nuts on the, the hopping. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's, let's hop, in there and, hop in there and see how it tastes. Yeah, um, it's been like a week or two since I had that last, and I, I mean, coming back to it, I'm picking up on a lot more, I think, of the um, spices uh, than I did initially. Um, it's definitely like a, you know, for, it's a pretty heavy mouthfeel, um, and, and Belgian style ales tend to be a little heavier but this one is is particularly chewy um but that um i don't know there's on the palate you there's definitely um it's a lot of clove and cinnamon um i'm not really getting a lot of nutmeg um but uh i also think i'm a little bit um i don't know blind to nutmeg uh given all of the the eggnog <laughs> batches i've made uh i think that i when i'm looking for eggnog I'm, or i mean pff, looking for nutmeg i'm looking for nutmeg um so yeah i don't know um i like it though um that finish though the i think that pepperiness sort of uh takes over so it, it sort of envelops and turns into um yeah banana and pepper um not banana peppers but banana and white pepper <laughs> um but there's still like a lot of richness from the other spices um throughout the the body whereas with like a a less complex uh belgian ale you're not gonna uh get uh all of that so it is it is very complex for a uh you know, for the style. One thing that I am a little disappointed with this beer in, and that they didn't mention, at least in what I was reading on the website, uh, yeah, I don't see it on here, but um, technically, according to the label on the bottle, there are there's artificial flavor in it. So, like, <sighs> that's a little disappointing. Um, because I think you can achieve that same level of like complexity without introducing artificial flavoring. So 
Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer, but like, eh, I can live with it. It also clocks in at uh, a pretty hefty 9%. So it's, it's not for the faint of heart for sure. Um, popping back over to the French toast milk stout. And I mean, I guess not back over because I haven't had any of it yet. But on the nose, I mean, very familiar stout uh, nose. Lots of, uh, you know, rich, dark, caramely uh, vibes going on. Um, but there's like a hint of like cinnamon and syrupiness. Definitely more cinnamon there than there, I would say. Um, but um, maybe also like just a, a hint of vanilla. Um, but yeah, let's see how it tastes. Yeah, honestly, weirdly, lighter body. That's the first thing I'm noticing is lighter body than that one. So I don't know what to do with that, but um, it's definitely like, though like on the, on the palate, very rich. Um, very much in line with what you're expecting from a stout, but then there's this undercurrent of, I, again, I, I would say that this has almost more of the the spice characteristics that were lacking from that. Um, like I'm getting a lot of like nutmeg and cinnamon in comparison um, and like a little little hint of like mapley syrup and, and even like a creaminess. Um, while it's still like not super, um, I don't, it's interesting having like those flavors, but with so little body. Um, but that's, I don't know. It's, that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, on as, as far as their description for it goes, um, the French toast milk stout, a brunch inspired brew with notes of maple syrup, vanilla, and rich caramel malt. Uh, turn off your alarm, sleep in, and keep those PJs on. This Saturday morning, a in a this is Saturday morning in a glass. Our classic milk stout recipe with aromas of milk chocolate. There we go, uh, and vanilla cream beautifully blends with notes of maple syrup, a griddled toast, and a hint of baking spice. French toast milk stout brings brunch vibes to any type or any time of day. Yeah. Stout with uh, natural flavors and caramel color. Ah, so they, they also added a little bit of color, which also could explain, you know, maybe some of that darkness with the, like, not corresponding to an increase in body. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, they had a, an insane malt lineup for it. Um, Two-row C40, C75 Munich, rolled oats, flaked barley, chocolate malted barley, and roasted barley. So uh, definitely a lot. I think that roasted barley is what, you know, kind of gives it almost like a, yeah, toasty vibe. Um, CTZ and Golding Hops. Um, lactose, uh, it is a milk stout. So, you know, the lactose is included there as a sweetener. Um, and then also they have French toast extract as a uh, uh, ingredient. And I just like don't know how you extract French toast in its totality. Like there's there has to be a lot more going on there. But yeah, it's uh, a French toast extract. So if I had to hazard a guess... That just is where the nutmeg, cinnamon, and maple flavors are, are coming from. But uh, yeah, that's it's interesting. There's like a, a brown sugary sweetness, um, but and also like a, a I don't know a creamy characteristic. And I see that the camera cut out again. Hopefully, it's back by now. Uh, sorry. Um, I guess that's our cue to pop back over to the computer and open up our Coffee People zine package before we start playing Skyrim. So uh, I'm going to go switch cameras, grab my phone, grab these, and open a package. Be right back.
Okay. We have our beverages, and I'm going to open up the Coffee People Zine package. Um, I have been aware of Coffee People Zine for, I don't know, years at this point. Um, but I recently, as in, I guess, like a year ago at this point, joined their Patreon. Um, and then when submissions came around for this uh, issue of the magazine, I just decided I wanted to uh, uh, submit some uh, art ideas. Um, but uh, you know what? Um, I didn't, or I, I, yeah. I submitted just an idea, like a hint of an idea. Um, not a hint of an idea, but like a, a kind of a, a pitch for uh, something way more complex. Um, and they just, they really liked the pitch and went for it. So um, I, I got this into print before the actual uh, final project was uh, done, but uh, it did, let's see, I'm not sure what page it's on, so I'm just flipping really quick. I know it's towards the back of the zine. Um, but uh, yeah, um, come on. I am just kind of elated at uh, how the this whole thing turned out though, cause uh, yeah, it's, uh, ah, there it is, dope. And I wanna make sure, cause there's a QR code to the, uh, the final product. Um, and I'm going to, one, take a look at that with my phone and see if it works, because it would be really embarrassing if the, the print one didn't work for some reason. <laughs> but uh, let's see, there we go. And, ooh, it worked. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hide the QR code because you're not getting that for free. Um, not that I am you know, financially benefited by the sale of these magazines um i am not but um uh i just think that you should uh, go and support them so uh i'm gonna use a little sticker that uh is included in the sale of the zine that um is really cool of a bird um and I will tell you a little bit about that bird because I know there's a story behind it, but I don't remember what it is, so I will look that up too. But, um, so, <clears throat> uh, this is my feature in it. That was a, uh, tie. it's basically just a movie poster for uh, the uh, short film that there's a trailer for it on the main channel. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the the poster uh, that gives you. There's a QR code behind this little uh, bird sticker um, that gives you access to the video. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of pumped about how that turned out. Like that is a that is a really rad, um, yeah, poster to <laughs> have included in the the zine so uh thank you to cat melheim and uh, coffee people zine for you know stepping out on a limb and going for it uh pick up coffee people zine issue 19 dark um it's pretty rad um the video itself is a satirical noir short film um that uh yeah is was basically based on <laughs> A Halloween costume that I had so um all right that kind of was the impetus of the idea and then from there it just kind of went with the theme of the um magazine and yeah that was it was fun it was cool um uh you know what I'm gonna really quick pull up that thing about the bird and then we will 
uh, Skyrim to our heart's delight. Um, but I, I am shooting myself in the foot for not remembering this. So I'm just going to pop over there and see if they had something. Because I know, I know they posted something about the bird. So let's see. <clears throat> Yes, the the back the back cover and sticker host a Baltimore Oriole, a bird that plays a vital role, vital role in both the production and consumption of coffee. Um, it is being shot down by stark white arrows from all directions, a direct comment on the differing blows that the coffee industry continues to take, whether that's climate change, labor crises, etc. So, um, that's the bird. Um, and now, uh, that out of the way, uh, again, pick up the zine if uh, you like coffee content. Um, it is time for us to get into the College of Winterhold once again. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the lighting back there because it's a little too bright. So BRB. Should do the trick. Uh, okay. Headphones on. And let's do this thing. Okay. Exit out of this and get up the classic. And. Here we go, gameplay. <sighs> I did do a little bit of stuff off stream. Um, so, uh, we have, oh, and actually I gotta drag something really quick off of one of the screens, cause it's in the way. Um, yeah, uh, I did a little bit of work off stream, uh, got us, over to Labyrinthian and, you know, unloaded a bunch of crap at our house that we didn't need. Um, so we should be good to go now. Um, and I picked up a follower on the way. Um, everyone's favorite, uh, Vlod himself. Um, I, uh, you know, shout out to Lunar Contact once again. Um, for the, the mod that <laughs> restored Vlod to uh to us we are very grateful um he can give us all his mead recipes once again um so labyrinthian is gonna be chock full of uh frost rolls um and actually i really don't think i should have brought the uh Ingvi the unicorn uh you know what i mean eh, we'll just bring it it's too late now um but we'll probably just leave him here at the front, and he can join us when the, the Frost Trolls inevitably, you know, get out here. Uh, or he can run away. I don't care. Um, ooh, and we have a dragon over there. It's, you know, hasn't noticed us yet, but... And there's a... Oh, hi. Right there. Hey. Nice. All right. Well, once again, I think... Uh, our build is is pretty uh, overpowered at this point with uh, the legendary smithing and all the enchantments. But I think what difficulty are we at? Um, master? Yeah, I can live. I can live on master for now. Um, yeah. Uh, before we go, kill more of those uh, wonderful little trolls. Um, I want to show you guys this. Uh, this thing over here is a pretty neat thing that comes into play later on. We don't have all of the Dragon Priest masks, so it can't really do a lot for us now. But um, 
So we'll read the little note in front of this first. Um, or we'll, um, we'll pick up the wooden mask first and uh, take a look at it. But yes, we've got uh, a wooden mask uh, that this skeleton uh, had. And the wooden mask comes with an unfamiliar energy. Um, and uh, let me, okay. Um, there's a note right in front of it, obviously, and we have our, yeah, the skeleton is, I mean, at this point its head has fallen off, but there's a dagger sticking out of its chest. Um, and the hired thug's missive says, it seemed like an easy enough job. Graz and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine, easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his the whole way, of course. Got a pretty good laugh when Graz snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realized that right fast and shut up about not paying. So we get here. He thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself. Never you mind that me and Graz had to cut through ten stinking trolls just to get him here. And without so much as a warning, poof, he's put on that mask and vanished. Could have put my hands on his throat one moment, the next he's not so much as thin air. Well, after a while, we didn't know what to do, and Graz picks, up, or picks her gear up to head home when he poofs back that mask in his hand, begs us not to leave, says, er, says he needs us to wait. This is what he's paying us for. Then puts the mask back on his sorry face and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but a few swings of my fist proved he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He shows up again, tells us he just needs more time, has to figure out something about other masks, and vanishes again. That was yesterday, and I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pour, pull more loot off him dead than he could have paid alive, but not the mask. That cursed thing can stay and rot with him and the trolls right here. So, uh, we are actually going to take that because it's a, it's a neat little thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've, we've got this decrepit shrine uh, and these, you know, cracked things holding uh or that you know look like mannequins that would hold a a mask and uh, when you go in here and you put on the wooden mask in this room uh you are moved and you are back in the room um but it is now uh everything is restored and uh i mean obviously all of these are empty and you can't leave through the door, which is unfortunate, because it would have been uh, fun. Um, but uh, yeah, you can put all of the uh, dragon priest masks as you collect them onto this. And uh, when you do, you unlock a ninth uh, final mask that is hidden underneath this dragon skull. But uh, yeah. Uh, ultimately, that doesn't mean much because uh, we don't have any of those on us right now. But it's a cool thing. And uh, so technically, that was time traveling. Like, we went back in time uh, to a, a day and age of Skyrim where this hadn't fallen apart yet. So I don't know why that mask uh, time travels, but it does. So that's cool. But ultimately, useless to us at the moment. So <laughs> let's get out of here. And uh, let's do our actual quest that we're here for. Uh, although there's so much to do in Labyrinthian. Um, it's a wild, wild place. Um, that actually used to be the capital of Skyrim. Fun fact. Um, but of course now is, is no longer the capital city, obviously. We're finally here. Let's not waste any more time. Are we truly sure this is a good idea? We'll be back at the college before anyone Let's see. knows where's our guy. You would care about that, since you are the there he is. favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was Atmos to begin with. Let's just get inside. See what's in there. So, it's a 
bunch of dead folks. Uh, that right there was the, uh, the ghost or a, a memory of Savos Aren. Um, the College of Winter holds, um, leader. Um, and we put the torque of Labyrinthian into the ceremonial door and we enter. Um, so that's obviously we had to, uh, join the College of Winterhold to get in here. But, um, yeah. Uh, we are gonna kind of witness Savos Arens, uh, first journey in here before he died. I can't in believe the last stream. We're doing this. Can you imagine the looks on their faces when we come back? You keep talking like you're sure we'll find something useful in here. Given the history of this place, it's more than likely there's still some amount of power here. Enchanted weapons, tomes of ancient knowledge, Shalador's secrets themselves. Who knows what we could find? And what if, what if there are things guarding this place? Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. I don't think you will, but uh, I appreciate your optimism. Gold in these ruins, but out of respect, let's leave a few coins for the dead. Thanks, Vilot. I, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if, if uh, I possess the capacity to leave gold behind. I'm a, a perpetual looter when it comes to this. It's habitual at this point. I, I really don't need gold. I have 50,000. But you know what? I just wanna, I just keep picking it up, okay? Uh, sometimes you have to, you know? I mean, I, I really, I don't know why. I really should just run past it, but like sometimes you get a, a, a good potion, you know? So like, I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of enemies in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The only skeletal dragon in the game. Hey, try to look at that. Alright, I'm gonna shout at all of them all at once. I don't know why I... I should... Okay. I really wish that I had just made them all fall apart, but... Oh well. Oh, come on. Before he could even let his arrow go. Uh, where's this other one? Ah, hi, ow. Last one. Uh, okay, hi. Sorry, I'm also swinging at uh, pots and stuff a lot <laughs> because I have been playing God of War in my free time. Um, and that's how you get money. So, <laughs> and nothing great. Okay. Well, big old skeletal dragon defeated. Uh, I'm assuming some of these skeleton bits are from the, uh, mages when they first entered in here. Howdy, Autumn. I did, we, got him. We have to go back. We can't leave Gerdwin. We barely made it out alive. What was that thing? You want to go back in? It's too late. There isn't enough of him left to go back in after. Thanks. Gods, what have we done? We can't go back. Might as well go forward. We can still do this. You know... Savos is right. We can make it if we just stay alert. Well, listen, but... Uh, th so the there isn't a door there. So like, did they just like run down here? Cause like, uh, yeah, I don't see a door. So like, did they just run down and the dragon just kind of like clawed at this, but it couldn't fit? <laughs> like, cause they weren't acting like it. But I don't know. It seems like that would have to be the case. Yeah. I don't know. But into the labyrinthian chasm. All right. 
obviously. If it looks like we're supposed to go one way, we go the other way for a minute to get our gold. I really should stop, but I can't. I'm, I didn't. I didn't do it. Oh yeah. Oh no. What if? What? Whatever can I do? I don't have. I can't get through the door without some flames. I didn't even see the spirit until I had already killed him. Um, I don't really want a spell in the hand. And of course they <laughs> hand hold you a little bit like in case you don't have flames. <laughs> Although, I mean, what? so what spells do you start the game with? Because I thought that you just started with that spell. <laughs> also, I'm glad that uh, he didn't wake up. Yes, what he said. Uh, I am gonna just pop that back over there so I have uh, no spells in the hand and set him right over the edge. And, oh, of course, I should have waited for this one. Ooh. Nice, okay, well, cool. Uh, I think this might be, no, it's not. Um, the Draugr, I think we've talked about this on stream at some point before, but uh, the Draugr character models, I mean, this one kind of applies, although not a whole lot. Uh, they have randomized head and uh, bodies. So uh, this one has a female torso and kind of just a, I would say that's a, yeah, that's, that's maybe, I mean, it's hard to describe something as feminine when it's, you know, like this, but, <laughs> uh, sometimes they randomize in such a way where you get a, a lady draugr with a big old beard, which is, uh, pretty fun. Uh, oh, hi. Nice little death lord with an ebony box. Come on, I just want to shout at you. Come on, come on. This is also a Let's see what that does. Oh, nothing. That's fine. We have better armor than uh, when we were on the uh, main channel doing the stream. Notoriously, did not have uh, enough to um, let's see. Didn't have enough to uh, or enough, strong enough armor to beat <laughs> a million death lords all at once. Um, okay, let's use a little frostbite. Just trigger that so it doesn't hit us. Hi. Before it can even start swinging. There's nothing really in here, but uh, I'll take some gold. Come on. Ooh, an equilibrium spell tome. What is this? Equilibrium. All the way down in the S's for spell tome. Classic. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I didn't actually read it. Um, alteration. Convert 41 points of health into magicka can be killed by this effect. That's fun. I like that. Um, it's, I don't know that I'll ever use it, but I can do it. I just want the fire salts so I can give Balamund all his fire salts all at once. That is empty. 
And we're out. But that was a fun little uh, detour. But I think we are supposed to go further down. Obviously. Ah, uh, yes, because that's what it's Must I use this guttural language of yours? Yeah. Oh, hi. There's a... Somebody down here, huh? Ow! Okay, that never happens. All right. Calm down. Wait. Give me a second to get up. Ow. Ow. Oh. Ow. Okay. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, we're just going to sprint right past him and shout at him. Okay, he... He's got ebony arrows, so he's got uh, a little bit of a one-up on us, not going to lie, uh, but we have a million potions, so I should really use that. Hi, okay. And that'll get you just a little bit. Ah, not enough, apparently. Nice. Oh, you know what? Now's a good time to test Jazargo's spell. So let's whip out Jazargo's flame cloak scroll and use this. Come here. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I am really not doing hot. Uh, I forgot that Jazargo's spell also does damage on you initially. <laughs> Let's see. Chill rent. Good. Well. Let's take all that. Uh, was there anything? Did we miss anything up there, or are we not really missing anything? Oof, that combat music, man. Uh, it can be deafening. All right, what's over here? Up and around and over. Oh, hi. Don't mind me. Oh, hi. Also, where is Vilod? He really should be helping. Let's see. Okay, what do we got in this room? Anything good? Some draughts of uh, varying uh, capacities. I didn't want that goblet, but uh, oh well. Mm, just more more caves, I guess. Guys, maybe someday I won't be... Uh... Oh. It would seem that... Uh... Well, do you think this was one of the mages? Or is... No, I think that's just an Argonian that uh, ventured down here. Ooh, dragon plate boots. We haven't uh, found those in the wild yet. I don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, I thought this would have been one of those mages, but I don't think so. I think this was just uh, an Argonian. Also, I'm sure we've talked about it before too, but uh, the Khajiit and Argonian character models uh, were not uh, like completely uh, rendered as far as uh, when they're when they're dead their tails still swish uh, both the Khajiit and the Argonians weird thing um, well I guess we go deeper huh have you returned Arvin? my old friend mm. to the thoroughfare Vilad, is that you? 
Is he joining us once again? Thanks, man. Through the gate and just just get some undead real quick. We should really, you know what? I'm gonna have that scroll in the left hand. Yeah. And one more, I think. Oh boy, what, what that is? <laughs> it's loud. Whatever it is, it sounds like a troll. It is a troll, huh? Where? What? We got we got trolls down here. They have a cave troll. See something moving in the shadows. Oh, I, I mean, I'm sure you do see something, idiot. Okay, where's that troll? Eh? Eh? Ooh, a skeleton. No troll. Oh, hi. I mean, another day, another victory. Thanks, bud. Well, cool. You only face failure once more. Shut up. Let's get one more skeleton with this little, uh, well, I guess we can't. I'm just going to shoot him. Hmm. I guess I won't. All right, we'll just. Ow. Yeah, probably. Okay, well, now we also have to speak to Jazargo. Uh, I'm going to turn that off for now and take care of these skeletons really quick. Maybe. I just don't want to deal with them up there. I just want to shoot him with a bow. I feel like I have a bow. Yes, I do. You can get screwed. Nice. Where'd that other one go? Yeah, there is, but I ran away. Is anybody over here? Oh, another troll. Hey, hey. Let's let's not do this, huh? All right. Well, you know what? I like using the magic, but man, nothing beats a really overpowered smashed up sword. <laughs> I'm telling you. Nothing beats it. Also, I'm I'm uh, switching to. Uh, well, I guess I'll leave that. Oh, another. Easy work. Man, they really uh, don't hear you coming, though. I don't remember all the trolls being in here. I guess that slipped my memory. All right, well, anyways, keeping keeping on, keeping on. Thank you. Let's talk to that, you know, dragon priest or undead, whatever. Got some wisps, I bet we'll have to fight a wisp mother. Yep, there she is, hello. You know, I wish they showed up more. You know? I guess, I guess we're not hostile. Just the skeleton. Oh, nope, we're hostile. All right, hey, come on. We were good for a second. <laughs> Let's itself get surrounded. Well, that was a mother, so. To tell you, Vlog. Okay, cool. And 
Let's see. These old halls fill some folk with dread, but as a Nord, they fill me with pride. I'm glad to hear it, Vilot. Uh, it is interesting that they just have a little underground graveyard here. Okay, well, let's move on, huh? Did he want you in children? Now I would be your wrongdoing. That it would only serve to strengthen me. Um, no, he did not. But, uh, guess what? I'm stronger. Got her. Thank you. I'm gonna do it. Just another minute, please. Come on. We can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Where's Elvely? She was right behind me. Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is insanity. We never should have come here. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. Going back would be the end of all of us. We keep pushing forward and we'll make it. We will! Come on, you can make it. Let's go. Yeah, the Argonian's still there. Well, Savos, sounds like you led all your pals into death, huh? Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a. Ooh, I forgot. The, the drain heart. I forgot about the drain heart weapons. Well, they look cool, but uh, they don't really do a lot. Uh, let's open the trap door. Why not? We'll head down that way in a second, but... Hmm. I guess maybe we could just go that way, but... Eh. We'll just... We'll take the long way around. Why not? I... Come here. Leave me be. It's the only place to get the drain heart swords, and they weigh like nothing. And they're really cool. I'm taking it. Well, I thought. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. Hmm. I guess we'll go through here. Owie. Okay. Come on. Nice. I love a challenge. Nice. <laughs> Got him. And we'll take their uh, cool weapons. We could have dropped down on them, but we did not. I'm glad we went the, the long way around, all things considered. Um, cool. Well, let's go deeper. The Labyrinthian Tribune. Hello. Is someone there? Just killing a spectral hound, that's all. Hi! <laughs> I love the, the paralyze effect on Chilrend. 
That's nice. You know what? We're gonna put one of their uh, drain blood weapons in uh, the other hand. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Hey, oh! Ah! Ah! Uh -uh. Just gonna take those. Nothing to see here. Like your, uh, you know, spectral weapons. If I don't say so myself. Come here. Come on. Leave me be, spectral hound. Wait. Oh, somebody in the tower. I'll get in the tower. They up? Yeah. No! There you are. Don't worry, Vlad. I got it. You just sit tight, pal. You're here for the aesthetic more than anything else. Ended. You know. Give me something. Somebody to talk to, huh? Um. Yeah, I'll take it and sell it. That's fine. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Didn't see that chest. I will take that. Okay. Oh. Cool. I like the kind of rainbow uh, trailing effect that the, uh, the drain heart sword has. We didn't go down also. Was down here? Oh no, that's the way we came. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, that's cool. I guess we're we're lock picking today. Yep. You win some, you break some. All right. Ooh. I'll take the shield again. Fodder to sell. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to switch the hands that the swords are in. Because I think the ghost sword, like on the back, that looks kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. Ooh, a word of power. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna have to kill a dog again. Nice. Got him. I'll let uh, Vlod handle that and read this wall. And we learn the word. Sand slow time. Ooh. We can slow time down even more. Don't mind if I do. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, we got dragon souls, so we can, ah, beautiful. Um, we are gonna unlock that next word. Okay, Vlog, you are taking this way too slow, buddy. Come on, man. That's the end of that. No thanks to you. <laughs> okay. Well. Ah. Hi. Hello. Hello. him on the way down. Okay. We shouldn't have left her there to die. What else could we do? Stay there and die with her? She refused to go on. We didn't have a choice. This is it, you know. Through this door. Can you feel it? 
We're not going to make it, are we? We stay together, no matter what. Agreed? I'll be right with you. Agreed. We all stay together. Depressing. I will take that poison. Thank you very much. I will... Again, loot even more gold. Even though I don't need to. I should poison some weapons, though. No, no, no. Potions. Poison. Alright. In we go. Ah. Yes, the, uh... I believe those are the spirits of uh, the other mages. Holding somebody back. I wonder who it could be. Oh, hello. Oh, a true Nord fights. Yep. Um, I do want to jump over there and uh, take a look, see at at what we're up against. But uh, I think we all know what's up. We got a dragon priest to fight underneath all this magic once we, you know, kill that other enthralled wizard spirit. But that's fine. That's fine. We can, we can beat a, a dragon priest. We've done it before, we'll do it again. But yeah, you see that? You see that tracking? Ah, that's fun. Why have I not used these swords more? They're cool. Alright, buddy. Well, hey there, Maroki. Oh, I fell. Uh, that would have been really cool if I didn't just immediately fall off, but that's fine. Hello there, Maroki. Ah, my friend. Come here, Maroki. Ah. You floaty little dragon priest, you. Yeah, it is. The Staff of Magnus. Don't mind if I do. Absorb 20 magicka per section. If the target is out of magicka, absorb health instead. Ew. Chuck that in the left hand. Take the gold. Take the mask. You know what? We'll put it on for now, just for fun. And look how cool we look. Ooh, and for some reason the crown uh, the ethereal crown is still on. That's fun. Just peeking through there. Uh, cool. Well, I'm sure we go that way, but I bet there's a way to get around there. Or a button we have to push somewhere to do it. Oop, I almost fell off again. Where's the button? Eh? Wow, they were really just kind of hanging out here the whole time, huh? Uh, yeah, where is this? Uh, of course, it's probably like right in front of it. Uh, or I guess we just hop over the edge, huh? I'm stupid. Wow. Come on, Vlad. This way. Up and over. Don't be dumb. Elven helmet of illusion. Common soul gem. Blah, blah, blah. I'll take those. I guess I'll take it all. I'll sell it all. And I'll take it. 
All right, well, we're out of here. I'm sorry, friends. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. So he... I promise you, I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. So Savos wasn't the best guy. That is, uh... That is apparent. He was, uh... He had some demons. He did some not-so-nice things to his friends. All right, well... I think we're through. And now all we gotta go do is uh, go. Hello, Thalmor. Hi there. So, you made it out of there alive. Ankana was right. You are dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'll have to take that stuff from you now. Ankana wants it kept safe. Also, what oh, a name. Estormo. Nothing personal. Get out of my way or I have no quarrel with you. Mm, I mean, no matter what I say, it's going to want to fight. So I will still take the peaceable option. I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid you do. Shut up. You can't win me. I'm going to take his magic and then I'm going to take his health. Will you now? <laughs> well, this is really slow. Oh, sorry, Bilod. Didn't, didn't mean to do all that to you. What's going on? <laughs> it's a shame that was necessary. I agree. We tried to uh, take the peaceful option. Uh, I am going to put my normal hood on because, uh, yeah. the oh, I guess we already have it on, but uh, eh, we got to remove Maroki's mask. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. All right, let's search him. Search him. And he had nothing good. Not even a note. Come on, bud. I'll take a fancy necklace. Okay, well, good enough. I think, oh, don't want to get stabbed. I think we're good. I think we're out of here. Also, how did he get in through the, the barred doors? You know? Okay. Up through here. Ah. Well, that's just gonna take forever. It's fun, but it's gonna take forever if we, if we do it like that. Um. Yeah, how did that elf get through here. That's, I, I have questions, okay? Um, in the meantime, though, I am gonna just go back to the trusty old chill rend, because it's, it's stronger. And I know Shalador's maze is in here. Do we want to mess around with that, or... You know, call it a call it a day at Labyrinthian. I'm kind of I'm leaning towards doing Shalador's maze. Eh, maybe we'll we'll come back here sometime. Um, for the moment though, I think. Uh, well, nah. Well, what am I saying? We'll we'll do some stuff, huh? Let's see, is there anything in here? Yes, no? Nah. I want to shout at that frost troll. I've never wanted to shout at anything more in my entire life. 
I want to watch him ragdoll all the way down. <laughs> it doesn't get old. <laughs> I enjoy that. Is it sadistic? I don't think so. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Mm? Oh, we got a, another frost troll. Eh, I trust Ingvita take care of it um, in the meantime I forget what this thing is on the left maybe it's it will lead us to Shalador's maze or maybe it won't um, lost Valkyg I don't remember what's in here so uh Ultimately, this this could take us five minutes or an hour. We'll find out. <laughs> Let's just... Oh, come on. Search a couple urn. Okay, I didn't even take it. Nice. Let's just kill these guys, huh? Nice. We make quite the team, eh? We sure do. You got that right, pal. Okay. Yep. I knew it was gonna happen. I just okay. Guys, I'm I made some choices, and I'm I'm not saying I'm proud of them. We're definitely gonna need to drop some ebony weaponry. I will drop. I mean, that's good enough for now. But we're gonna, yeah, we're not gonna have a lot of room to loot stuff. All right. Can there really be that much in the lost Valkyg? <laughs> Leave me alone. You know what? We really need Red Eagle's Bane. That's a good sword to use on Draugr. But we don't have it yet. Avar Stone Singer, huh? I'm gonna take that book. Not gonna read it right now. All right. Well, interesting. Anything else in the Lost Valkyg? Oh, I guess we could have gone through the door, huh? That probably would have been smart. Nope. Yep, yeah, nope. Right there. Nope. Right here. Yes. So not worth it. So not worth it. All right. We're just going to speed run this. Okay, grab this. Uh-huh. I don't need that iron sword. Not even a little. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it right down that hole. Boop. Come here, you. Nope. I guess we missed each other. Yeah, paralyze. Oh, he's, he was dead. <laughs> it happens. No, I don't want that. Uh, but 
I do want that. Okay. Well, I suppose we go deeper, huh? Bloop. Bloop. And right there. And... Uh, yeah. Right here. You missed. He had quite the weapon, too. I'm glad he didn't get a, a hit off. I am gonna give him the battle axe, because it weighs a close amount. Um, but the other one's worth more. Oh, and we're, we're through. I guess we just, the lost Falkig is uh, kind of just a big circle. Huh. Well, I feel like there was more to do in there. Hey, Jess. Welcome. Um, we're just, you know, exploring Labyrinthian. Uh, I thought that there might be more to do in the Lost Valkig, but uh, it sort of just seems like, a, you know, a nothing burger. It's It's kind of just a little side thing um so i guess we're we're <laughs> gonna leave it but i do want to go do shalador's maze i think that might be fun although that might take too long i don't know shalador's maze is very fun but uh i also don't remember exactly where it's at so there's also that um Ooh, an oolong winter warmer. That sounds tasty. That sounds tasty as. Um, well, I don't remember where the entrance to Shalador's maze is, and I'm contemplating if we want to do it, because it, to my recollection, it was not short. Oh, I think it's under here. Maybe. Let's find out. No, we're gonna do it. We're here. Labyrinthian is awesome. It's just also kind of wild. And very unexplained and unexplored. And uh, here we are in Shalador's Maze. I don't remember how to do this, so... <laughs> It might take a little bit of uh, Googling because, boy howdy, I don't remember how to do this thing. But that's the maze right there. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's quite the thing, huh? Um, and I don't remember what you get as a reward for doing this. But, uh, ooh, and I think, I mean, if we hop all the way around... We can just learn the word of power in, over there, but, uh... Ooh. Well, I guess we're gonna try our hand at this. Okay. Staff of Mage Light. Staff of Fear. Staff of Repulsion. Staff of Firebolts. I guess we'll take all of them. And of course, we're carrying too much. I'm going to drop that Warhammer. And into the maze we go. And you get... And actually, do we need the staffs? I don't think so. But I guess we'll find out. You know what? I guess let's just let's just do them. Vlad, you are going to get in the way. I can already tell. Um... Let's just use that Staff of Mage Light, and, wow. Okay. You just have to use the uh, matching school, and I guess if we do this, it'll pull it up behind us? Yep. 
I'm gonna do that just because I don't want to deal with Velod following me through the maze. Oh, I hear gross things. It's probably a rat. Ugh, it's... Oy. Hello. Okay. Okay. Oh, and Vlad got through, I guess. Oh, well, I guess thanks for the help, pal. Oh, yeah. We can, uh, open the shutters to see... I guess where we have and have not gone. Oh, come on. Move, dude. Dude? Okay, I'm gonna have a weapon out then, in, in this case. Uh, you know, something, something nice. Yeah, what am, who am I kidding? We're gonna, we're gonna have children. Uh, weirdest beer breakfast stout called unicorn farts. Wow. Well, I mean, look at us. We're both having breakfast stouts. I am sipping on a French toast milk stout, uh, as well as a more Christmassy beer. But, uh, yeah. Uh, open you. I hear that word wall. That's open. That's open. Okay, and that needs to open, and of course there's a, is that a head? That is, yeah, that would, that's a severed head that has its eyeballs stuffed with something, and it had a piece of gold in its mouth. That's gross. Um, yeah, the, the weird thing about these quests is they're not, um, like, there's no, I don't think there's, like, a spot for you to get this quest to do. Um, yeah, the, the breakfast stout I am sipping is from Left Hand Brewing, and it is a French toast milk stout. So, yeah, um, Left Hand, um... I mean, I you can get it at Walmart, but they are brewing uh, right here in Longmont, Colorado. So, okay, zigging and zagging through all of this. Deep. Oh, oh, I think we've looped. Ah, we need the flames. And actually, I think we could have done this with just the spells. Yeah, we didn't need to take all those staffs, but I guess we did. All right, deeper into the maze. Underground. But the snow's still coming through. Ooh, and this is, ooh, summoning. Let's summon something. Duclaw Brewing Company, huh? Let's conjure a bone colossus. Do I even have enough? I I guess I do. Right there. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, I thought that would... Uh trigger something here, but it, apparently it did not. We have started combat, of course. Uh, let's see. I'm going to conjure just a plain old familiar. Nope. Okay, well. Let's go, friends. Oh, that was... I guess that did work. It opened up this. And we are in a, oh, a new area. Ooh. 
Just peeking. Interesting. I am going to go learn that word of power really quick. Um, ooh, a Spriggan Matron Conjuration spell? I like that. You can do like a really cool like Bosmer playthrough like that, like a Wood Elf thing. Okay, what's the word? Okay, well, I guess we'll unlock it. Why not? Um, shouts. Uh, what are the other? Oh, yeah. Uh, we haven't. You know what? We'll unlock the Soul Tear ones. That's. Uh, that was from our dear friend, um, Dernavir. And this is the. Illusion school. So let's just cast a little calm. And open up our shutters so we know where we're going and whether we've been here before or not. Okay. The right way to do it, Jess. The Bosmer Druid. Ugh, I hear a wraith. Ooh, a horker tusk. You know, your daughter is bold with uh, going in straight with the Argonian. But, uh, you know what? I admire it. Uh, I am going to carefully steal all the gold. And I don't want the bloody rags. Hmm, don't need the scrap metal. I guess, is it a wraith? Hmm. Hmm, yeah, that sounds pretty wraithy. Ooh, some gems. Oops. And that's that's a tricky little thing to aim at. And there we go. Okay. And okay. And Wow, we've okay. Hello, skeevers. Hello, Wraith. Ah, we paralyzed it. I will uh take that Wraith's crap. If I can. Ooh. Liminal bridges. I'm going to take it. Later. Skellington. Yeah, I don't remember what uh, this whole thing is all about, but we're going to find out here. I don't really want that. Uh, I don't care about that. And I'll open that. Ooh. A heal other. Do I have that? I think I do. I don't. I'll take it. We'll learn it in a second. Okay. Pass the core. And. You know, this really isn't much of a maze, huh? Ah, a little restoration. You know what? We'll use our new spell on it. Right there. Oh, come on. Well, we'll just, we'll just drop it. Come on. What? I'm using the spell. 
<sighs> what the heck? Uh, do we have to use a staff of some kind? Hmm, I guess repulsion would work, huh? Yeah. That'll do the trick. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Ooh, to the trial of conjuration. I guess we're... Yep. Come here. Wow. We did it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, come on. Don't even mess with me. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. Well. I think we did something. Let's read the tattered note. Enter twice, exit only once. Alteration will lead you to destruction. Only illusion shows the way to restoration. Conjure not, but be conjured instead. We did get conjured. Uh you know what? We might have done it. I'm going to I'm going to say, you know, un unless I look it up after this and I'm like, "Oh, we were supposed to do it this way." I'm gonna call it good. Um, ooh, probing planets in the uh, Mass Effect 2, so you got a minute to watch. Welcome. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, lurking is, is welcome. Beyond welcome, lurking is encouraged on this channel. Uh, uh, I, think, I think these streams are just kinda meant to be chill. So, uh, you know. Come and go as you please and see fit. Um, that being said, I think we've explored Shalador's maze pretty thoroughly. And uh, I am totally chill exiting his maze because, I mean, for the time being, I think we did it. And uh, we have to go kill on Kano, you know? Okay, well, let's uh, go Staff of Magnus. Let's just go straight back to the college and see what we can get up to. Return to Toth, dear. Yeah, dude, we conjure a bunch and it's Morbin time. You know, that's what they say. Dragon. That's my my favorite part about conjuring. Ooh, okay. Magic anomalies. Okay, come here, you. You can. Wow, that's a toughy little magic thing. Alright. Thank you, Vlod. Uh hey. You survived. <laughs> you have it then? His uh Let's hope it's as powerful <laughs> as the Sigics believe it to be. Yep, I, I do. His uh his uh stone flesh spell is is looking extra stony. Um uh, no, I have not been uh, making too many chill puns. Uh, let's see. Where's Mirabelle? Why are you all the way out here? Let's go with... Where's Mirabelle? She... She didn't make it. Dang. When it was clear we were going to have to fall back, she stayed behind and made sure the rest of us were all right. Well, why are you all the way out here? Look for yourself. Ancano's power is growing. 
we can't crack whatever magic he's using to shield himself. I hope your trip to Labyrinthian was worth it. Labyrinthian. Let's get in there. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Well, uh, I want to talk to these folks first. I'll be amazed if any of us survive this. Mm. We never should have brought that thing here. Well, I think it's fine. Let me in. Ah, hello. Where are you? <laughs> okay. What are they all doing? Gods, you'd better Go have ahead. something. I sure hope I do. Oh. Where is it? Hello, you magical anomaly. I just don't want to start swinging with them, like, right in the area. There we go. Good work, everybody. I'll take a filled petty soul gem. Later. Gods, you'd better have something. I sure do. Um, I am gonna activate Nothing that. Left. We must hurry if we're going to defeat them. Okay, let's do it, bud. And in we go to defeat Ancano. Have you? Yes. You think I don't know what you're up to? You think I can't destroy you? Hmm. The power to unmake the world at my fingertips. And you think you can do anything about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am beyond your pathetic attempts at magic. You cannot touch me. Oh, yeah? The staff, use it on the eye. Enough! I will. Still, you persist? Very well. Come back. Uh -huh. See what I can do now. I'm watching you. What was that? Bad idea. Come here, you little worm. Nice. That was quick. We make quite a team, eh? Well, that was quick. Um. Wow. I did not uh, expect to do that as fast as I did. Um. Interestingly, uh, one thing I do want to mention before we get into this, I was watching some Fudge Muppet videos earlier, um, and uh, apparently at one, well, and I don't know if they covered this or if somebody else did. I was watching some Elder Scrolls videos, and uh, according to Michael Kirkbride, who is, you know, he had a, a hand in the development of uh, the Elder Scrolls as a concept, uh, but at this point no longer influences the story. But he wrote a story about a robot from the future that, like, traveled back in time and uh, was basically imprisoned under uh, Sarthal by Ys Grimoire, uh and that's what some people think that the Eye of Magnus is is that it's just a, a prison for a futuristic robot so I don't know what <laughs> validity there is to that but uh, that's pretty interesting that her coming out of the I don't see a robot in there so I, I don't you know uh, yeah there's I don't see a little Wally -E robot in there, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, Tolf Deer, let's let's talk. I knew you could do it. What do we do now? I I don't know. Ancano is gone. But no, he's over he's there. Whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. I have no idea what to do. Yeah, no, uh, Jess. Michael Kirkbride was. Uh, pretty much insane but uh he's it's it's wild you should read the story sometime he wrote that like a like decade before skyrim even came out so it no. might not be real but 
Coronier. Uh, what's up? We knew you would succeed. Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. What do we do now? How did you know I'd be able to defeat Ancano? How did you... Uh, how did you know I'd be able to defeat Ancano? A great many things obscured to you are quite clear to us. We have long believed you would prevail. What do we do now? The eye has grown unstable. It cannot remain here or else it may destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it. For now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and carry on with your lives. You have our gratitude, Archmage. Thanks, pal. Gelebros, our order will not forget your deeds. Thanks, pal. Uh, Tandil? It is time for us to go. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, it's very bright and no longer. We've completed the Eye of Magnus. You've done it. The college is safe again thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Oh, thank you, Tolf, dear. And he gave me the Ar Archmage's clothes. Cool. That's why we couldn't loot him. Uh, all right, well, we'll, we'll uh, get back to his Alembic Until thing next time. later. Uh, but yeah... Now we're just the Archmage, so uh, I think that we should drag, you know, the the evil elf uh, and plop. Oh, come on, just drag him to the center, plop him in the magic pool. Uh, yeah, somehow the the Sigix knew that we could stab Ancano real good, uh, just right in the guts. Um, I remember that boss fight the first time I played Skyrim and didn't really have, like, I don't know, a, a very powerful character. That took me so long, and trying to figure out how to use the Staff of Magnus was, like, ugh. That was wild. Um, to the Archmage's Quarters. Our tenth house. Um, I actually don't know how many houses we have. We probably don't have that many. But this is our, our new little bedroom. I do like the glowy tree. Um, I think it would be appropriate to try on our, our college attire. Um, you know, we, we want to look the part, right? And of course, there's another set of archmage robes. Um, black archmage boots, archmage boots, college boots uh we'll just take the archmage ones but mm, we'll probably come back to the black ones uh let's have a look at our new apparel oh look at us <laughs> we look a little bit uh floppy i th i think it i don't know that it necessarily uh fits fits the character's vibe also that uh that does kind of look like the mask um or like the the archmage's hood looks kind of similar to like yeah the it's a similar structure it's not quite the same but it's a similar structure to uh the dragon priest masks and obviously I have mods that let me wear them all at once, but it they definitely clip weird. Um, but, uh, I don't know. That would be a fun build to, like, make a really overpowered uh, dragon priest uh, archmage, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I think, 
I think that's not for me. But I'll take the ropes. They weigh nothing. Um, I am going to, though, put away or put on my stall room armor once again. Stall room. There we go. Much better. Much better. All right. Well, what do you say? We, uh, yeah, this, this is where the magic happens, baby. Um, let's dump a bunch of crap into a chest and go somewhere else. Ooh. Black Arc Archmage Ebony Helm. Ooh. I definitely have some mod that is uh, allowing me to have all this because these are, ah, yes, light and heavy armors. Yeah, I have some some mod that allows this to be the case. I mean, they're cool. I kind of want to try them on. Yeah, let's try them on. Ooh. Ooh. I, I actually think that is kind of cool. Um, it's like an armored archmage. I I could get behind that. That's that's cool. Um, man, for our necromancy build back in October, we should have done that. That would have been fun. Uh, wild. Huh. Well. I'm not gonna keep this right now, but uh, that's that's cool. I actually do like that. Mods are great. Download mods, kids. Um, I'm just gonna put all of the Archmage stuff away. Don't mind me as I get naked out here. Um, I'm gonna actually put all my clothes back on. Stall room. Not the light stuff. Yes, the light stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, good enough. Um, I also want to just put all of those staffs in here. <laughs> I have too many staffs on me, it turns out. And actually, I'll, I'm going to put pretty much all of these away. Except for, like, one. And, you know what, I'm just gonna, we're gonna do some light inventory management. Bear with me. Uh, don't need that. I really don't need any staffs. That's fine. Okay, well, we lost 150 pounds. I'll take it. And we're back to just being wintry, icy armor little us. Okay, we are truly the Archmage. And it do be where the magic happens. Ooh. Orthorn, do you know where Jazargo's at? We should talk to him while we're here. May I help you, Archmage? No. You. Greetings, Archmage. Thank you. May I help you, Archmage? Uh, no. Until next time. Also, he says Archmage. The other guy said Archmage. May what I help it? you, Archmage? Uh, is there any college business I can assist with? You mean the official sort of business? Hmm. Well, no. No, not really. But I can't help but notice that you're doing quite well for yourself. I am. Rising through the ranks you know, and all. The Archmage. Or Archmage. It may not be official. But there is a, a project I've been working on. I wonder if perhaps you could assist with it. Oh, yes. You involved in something dangerous, or... We're going to go with this. Uh, can you tell me more about this project of yours? Uh, yes. Um, no, no, I, I don't think so. Not at this point. It's just that, well, I'm not even really sure it's going to amount to anything just yet. 
All theoretical right now, you understand? Mm -hmm. But the implications are quite intriguing, I think. I simply need some experimental results to confirm my suspicions. Okay. Just, just bring me some Dwimmer cogs. I need to examine them for the methods used in forging them. I got a bunch. Ten of them should be enough for me to get a better ten? understanding of how they were crafted. I think I have ten. That's all I need, all right? I think I've got close to that laying around. Um... Not on me. Also, my my uh, character's name is not Littlest. It is uh, Nikolai, but uh, close. Let's see. Oh, and of course, uh, Ancano is still burning in the magic. Nice to see. Let's chat with the cat. Cat, hello. May I help you, Archmage? I've tested your scrolls. And? Were they magnificent? If I didn't know better, I'd say you're trying to kill me. Were they supposed to explode? Because they exploded. It did not go well. Were they supposed to explode? Because they exploded. Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. They did. But Jezargo is pleased to see that you are here and not in pieces. Mm -hmm. You are a good friend to have done this. Jezargo will not forget it. Thanks, bud. Um, Until next with time. that, Vilod, it's a pleasure as always, but... Uh, I'm a blade now. I can hardly believe it. It is time for us to part ways, buddy. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. Good to see you. Follow me. I need your help. Then lead on, friend. I do like having the cat as a follower. Um. Ah, yes. Little us. I see what you mean. That Don't was a, think you can a whoosh. Me like it just whooshed over my head. Um. Later, Vilod. We'll uh, pick you up sometime. Uh, but we have the cat with us now. Um. And he took the Skyrim long way around. could not be more different from elsewhere. But magic. Magic is the same no matter where you go. It's true, buddy. Um, I don't have ten Dwemer Cogs on me, so I'm not going to turn that on right now. Uh, how many do I have? None. Also, that's like a hundred pounds of crap, because I'm pretty sure they're ten pounds each. So let's see how many we can scrounge up over at the Tundra Homestead. I think there are some over here. I don't know. We're going to have to dig around. But, uh... Not in there. There are five. Ugh. Do I really have to go collect more? I really don't want to. I really don't want to. They weigh so much. I'm gonna put the five back until I can for sure. Actually, no, you know what? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's just gr go inside, try to scrounge some up. And if we can't find them, I don't know what we'll do. But uh, I guess I know a few spots where I think they respawn. But if they don't, I'm gonna be real sad. Dwemer cog. Ooh, four. All we need is one. That is much more manageable. Okay. Those are all books. Uh, hello, goat. Ugh. I don't miss that goat noise. Dwemer cog. All we need is one. Come on. Just give me one. All we need is one. Well, shoot. Nope. I really was not consistent with uh, where I put stuff at the beginning of this, and I feel like... Uh,
maybe on my next playthrough I will try to be as strong as possible with sorting stuff going in <laughs> because <laughs> it's so chaotic it's so chaotic uh, let's see no 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 that's all armor dang it I think we're gonna have to go find one cog but that's more manageable than 10, okay? I can live with that. I do want to do this uh, because I think the Arneal Gain quest reward is pretty interesting. So... Let's head to Mazulft. Because I think the storeroom has a handful of cogs off to the side. If I remember correctly. And I think I might have collected all of them, but there's a slim chance that they respawned. Come on. No, no, no. No. Oh, a cog. <laughs> nice. Wow, record time. That is one of the many reasons I just kind of habitually collect Dwemer cogs <laughs> so that and there's like two quests where it's super helpful uh, and that's this is one of them so let's find our dear friend Arniel and hook him up May I help you, Archmage? I've got the cogs you asked for. Ah, that's excellent news. This will be most helpful in furthering my research. I'm afraid I can't offer you much right now, but please take this. And perhaps, if this is all successful... Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's too early to be getting excited. Still, this is most encouraging. Thank you again. If I require anything else, I shall be sure and let you know. Thanks, bud. Uh, did you need any more help with the project? As a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. Knew it. I had retained Enther's services in, uh, acquiring something specific. But now he's refusing to deliver. Dang. Could you perhaps speak with him and see if we can come to some sort of arrangement? I'll have a chat with him. All right, then. Enther, come on, man. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? Yeah. Um, well, first, how's business, buddy? Business? Business is actually inconsequential to me. I share little of your lust for coin. He just, he knows However, I'm the However, as promised, I'll still be more the, than uh, happy to take any skilled, stolen skilled merchandise master. off your hands. Well, okay. Um... I'll sell him some stuff, but first, I understand you have something of Arniel's. Oh, dear. He's so afraid to talk to me, he's sending you to do it? I should have expected it. Hey, I'm his boss. Come on. I'm afraid you've been a little misinformed. I have something of mine that I was going to sell mm. to Arniel. With all due respect, Archmage, I'm not in a position to just give this away. At least he knows I I'm told Arniel what I wanted in exchange for it, and he was unwilling to come up with it. Mm. Now, if you're here on his behalf, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist on my original payment. Uh, what is it that you want? I have a friend, let's say, who's interested in a staff. A particular one. It's nothing <sighs> dangerous, so don't worry. I'm not even sure why he wants it, but then that's not really my concern. He's willing to pay for it. Okay. The problem is that it'll be a little difficult to acquire, seeing as how it's in the hands of someone who isn't exactly friendly. So you bring that staff back here, and I'll consider it payment for the item Arniel was after. Okay, fine. 
I'll do it. Um, what will you give me for these? I give special rates to members of the Thieves' Guild. Show me what you've got. Well, what do I have? Um, probably just weapons and apparel is where we'll start. Um, I'll sell him. Oh, come on. I guess I got rid of all of the the crap that I had on me. So I guess none of that. But I did have, at the very least, a... Ooh, I'll sell him that and that. And I'll keep those. Those are cool. Um, hmm. I'll just sell some unenchanted stuff. I know if I enchanted it, it would have been worth more, but whatever. You know, uh, the rod of the staff of shaft. I sure hope so. Um, let's. I for is it the one? It might be the one in Winterhold. Um, why do I have those gauntlets? Okay, I'll sell you that. I'll sell you those. I'll sell you that. It was stolen. And that. And I'll keep those. And, okay, he's got 400 bucks. Let's just sell him some gems first. Um, we do have a lot of just random gems. Okay, seven. I'll sell. Oh, I should have kept the flute. Dang it. Oh, well. We'll find another flute. We do have the bard mod, so we can uh, we can play our instruments. All right. Well, thanks, bud. Uh, see you later. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. It's been a while. It's been a minute since we've uh, been over to the Thieves Guild. Maybe we'll do that next next stream. Um, maybe we'll show show Jazargo the ropes over there. Um, all right, well, let's go figure out what that staff is. Okay, and I know there's also a quest that we need to do that is uh, killing a rogue wizard, which I think would be fun to do too. Ooh, go into Morvenscar. Uh, if you missed the stream on uh, International Mead Day, uh, I did do a stream where we, of, of course, discovered Morvenscar um, during the uh, basically Skyrim's hangover quest that is. Um, Gosh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's uh, Sanguine's Quest. Um, oh, I meant to wear this. Oops. Um, well, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it was uh, Sanguine's Quest. And he... Uh, <laughs> It's a fun quest, and that was a fun stream, so I highly recommend rewatching it. Okay, come on. You know, the nice thing about fighting mages with a weapon is they're not wearing armor, so it's pretty, uh... It's a pretty short fight. Um, but yeah, what I was saying, uh, the first time you discover this place is specifically uh, for, I mean, I think you can go here before, but uh, when you go here uh, for Sanguine's quest, um, I mean, it unlocks some different stuff, but uh, um, that was a really fun stream and uh, I brewed a, a batch of meat on stream. So, you know, if that sounds interesting, check it out. After this, of course, we, we need to, 
we need to get through here and get that staff. Also, uh, speaking of my other content, thank you for everybody who showed me some love on the, uh, uh, the holidays should be longer video. Um, it sure does, buddy. Um, but yeah, that was, a uh, you know, it's a, a hard, it was, I mean, it was a, I'm really, I'm glad I made that video. Okay, they've got the staff, I guess. Come here, you. Oh, no. Nope. Come on. Thank you. Staff of Tandil. Uh, creatures and people. Well, up to level 12, 1, 5, 5, 20, 60 seconds. Okay, cool. Well, I'll take that. Thank you. Back. Wow. Look at that. The first time we were in here we died. That's that's how uh that's how far our character has come. Um Wild. Well I am gonna have a little have a little seat, take a little break. Um yeah. Uh Jess, I uh I appreciate the the kind words about the video and also uh have you have you sampled your batch of vlogs meat because uh that uh I mean it was it's I think of the the meads from the Elder Scrolls cookbook it's still my favorite one so you should definitely uh you know uh, if you haven't sampled it yet, you should, because it was really good. Um, I feel like Tandil was one of the Sigics. Um, stereo? Uh, so I don't know, but I think so. Uh, Atronach Forge recipe. Ah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll learn. How have I not learned candlelight? Ay, 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 guys. Okay, back to the college. Delivering the staff. Okay, to end here with the staff, and then we will uh, chat with Arniel once... Uh, Enthir gives Arniel what he needs. Enthir. So did Carlia send you again, or are you here on your own this time? I'm here on my own. Uh, here's the staff you wanted. Well, well. Hmm. Mm. All right. You delivered on your end, so I'll deliver on mine. Here's the gem Arniel was after. Mm. Can't imagine what he expects to do with that. It's warped beyond any ability to capture a soul. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Ah, it's a zero percent chance to steal. I do want to steal it, but I'm not gonna. Hey, hands off! Fine. Taking me up on my offer, eh? <sighs> Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of a deal we can make. I'm just going to buy it from him. I have 52,000 gold, so I'm just going to buy it. And I'm going to use that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to sell all the dragon bones I have. <laughs> uh, I have too many. But guess what? I have a mod that makes them weigh nothing. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. So I basically just traded dragon bones and scales for uh, for the staff. All right, let's see. Uh, Arniel. Greetings, Archmage. I've got the soul gem you were after. Do you? Wonderful. I was afraid I'd have to give up. 
And when I'm so close, I like they were having a nice like thank back you for conversation. This. I have a great deal of work ahead of me. Okay. Well, wait. Good to see you. How's the project coming along? <laughs> terrible, just <laughs> terrible. I vastly underestimated the heat transfer necessary and have destroyed my only working model. I'm at a loss. Oh no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh Did you account for the uh Extra coefficient introduced by, um... Don't patronize me. <laughs> Look, it's all very simple. The Dwemer, they were, uh, masters of magic in a way we can't even begin to conceive of. Their greatest achievement, however, has also been their greatest, shall we say, mystery. Yes, and what mystery is that? Their disappearance, of course. Instant, unexplainable. The stories have fascinated me. Ever since I was young, I wanted to know what really happened. After years and years of work, I'm closing in on a way to investigate what happened through experimentation. Mm -hmm. Only now, well, it's simply this a disaster. This couldn't go wrong. What went wrong? Without boring you with the uh, details, I'm attempting to recreate the circumstances of the event. A nice back-to-back -back conversation here. The dwarves were very clever. Here. Tapping into and drawing power from the heart of Lorcan itself. I know. Lacking the heart of a dead god myself, I was attempting to substitute a rather specific soul gem. The, uh, one you helped me acquire. Yes. And that won't work? Well, yes, I mean, no. That is, it might. But I'm not completely sure. I'm no tonal architect. Oh, we've done I've some only tonal read their architecture writings. ourselves. Scraps, Come really. on. The soul gem by itself isn't enough, you see. It needs to be altered, purified. The dwarves had machines for this sort of thing. I've attempted to build my own, based on designs and using parts you helped to provide. Mm -hmm. My very own dwarven convector. I, it worked, I can but show not you where they are. And the, uh, the device was destroyed in the process. Okay. Can you build another? Hmm? No, no, no! I'm too close now. Can't take the time. Though, perhaps there's another option. I, um, I may require further assistance from you. What do you want me to do? Well, yes. The designs for my convector were based on real dwarven machines, so there may still be some in existence. I know there are. I'd go looking myself, but, uh, yes, there are calculations to double and triple check. Uh, many calculations. Perhaps you could mm -hmm. seek out these convectors in Skyrim ruins. I can even teach you the spell to heat them. Oh, thank you. It's very particular and very important. Teach me your spell and I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Now, this spell is not for defending yourself, but it's just right for heating the convector. At least three seconds burn is necessary. Just place the soul gem inside and heat the convector. At least three seconds. You'll almost certainly need to find multiple convectors. I suspect it may be due to the nature of the soul gem versus the crystals this was intended for. Destroys the equipment in the process. But, ah, it's effective. Three times, and the crystal should be ready for the next step. Isn't this exciting? Oh, it's so exciting. All right, then. Let's do this, buddy. Huh. Let's listen to him from down Some here. Some days I marvel that you haven't managed to blow yourself up. <laughs> you know, we're we're not that far off. I think uh, I think we're gonna be like we're gonna probably wrap up the stream uh, with the conclusion to this quest. Um, okay, well, okay. I I mean back to Mazulft. Uh, we've cleared it, but there's one inside and there's one. No, he said only three, so we'll just, we'll do three. I know there's one over here in the storeroom that we were just at where we took one of the cogs. So let's just go in here because we know we don't have to fight anybody. Um, okay, into the convector with... Uh, what was it? Warped soul gem? Yeah. 
store. And now we use our Arniel's Confection. One point per section, or per second. One, two, three. Done. Take the soul gem. Now we have to place it in a different convector. And, I mean, yeah, there is another convector in Mazulft itself. I don't want to go in there because it's going to take forever. There's one outside over here, so let's just head to the Autumn Shade Clearing. Yeah, dude, this is straight up Breaking Bad, man. <laughs> oh, this, okay, this is, this is why we took that, uh, or this is why we bought back that staff of Tandil. Ready? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess, I guess the bears aren't powered or are too powerful for this. No, yes? Okay, the bears are good. Bears are good, but they're fighting the horse. Okay. <laughs> This is, this is madness. Uh, quickly, quickly madness. Also, Earth Mother, leave my unicorn. All right. Yep. All right. Well, those ones are good. They're calm. Man, that was nuts. Uh, and I'll hop off right here. Looks like a conjuration mage uh, accidentally summoned a zombie it couldn't handle. Hi. Pyromancer. That's close enough. Okay, I'm just gonna, let's see if we can, nah, I'll just kill him. Well, it wasn't, I mean, he wasn't quite cowardly. He was just uh, not very powerful. Okay. Little convector here. Put our warped soul gem in there. Baking bard. <laughs> Have you seen, there's a, a stupid YouTube short, but I think about it a lot, uh, called Cooking Bad, and it makes me laugh. So, uh, you should definitely, if you haven't seen it, just look up Cooking Bad. It's a very dumb video, but uh, it makes me laugh. Okay, placing it into a final convector. Where is one that's just kind of out and about? One over by Deep Folk Crossing. We'll just do that. Mm. Although that other one on the river is probably also pretty good. I don't know. Deep Folk Crossing is the closest, though. Let's just do it. It's just going to be right up here. Yeah. Totally fine. I'll leave all that alone. Misk. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> Jesse, I have terminal cancer. We have to cook. You wanna cook, Mr. White? You wanna make crystal meth? No, Jesse, that's highly illegal. Very dangerous. It would probably get us killed. No, I'm talking about making real money. Yeah, that's, that's what that's from. <laughs> it makes me giggle. So now we just gotta, you know, make a, a Breaking Bad meme out of the, you know, cooking the warped soul gems for Arniel game. 
you know, just kind of fade in with the bow, 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 bow. like Breaking Bad theme. Good stuff. Okay. And of course it will end with how this quest with Arniel Gain ends. <laughs> Hello, friend. I have your gem. It worked then. Let me see. Goodness, that's it, isn't it? Yes. It's not perfect, but it's a close enough approximation that it should certainly suffice for initial tests. Yep. You've done excellent work here. Truly excellent. There's only one thing missing now, and that should be arriving shortly. Okay. I'll begin preparations. Thank you again so much for this. Uh -huh. Okay. Not at all. Well, let's let's talk about it really quick. Well, don't go back to bed. Good to see uh -uh. you. Hey, wake back up. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Can we talk? Watch what you're doing. Can we talk? Greetings, Archmage. I guess not. I guess he'll just ask me for for help when when his uh, final. Perhaps piece we can arrives. go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. May I help you, Arch? Yeah, you can help me by letting us finish this quest. Uh, yeah, baking bard. Cooking up gems in dwarven easy bake ovens. I love it. <laughs> baking bard. <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay. Uh... Power of the Elements. I guess let's look at that book that she gave us, huh? Hey, you know, don't, we can't be talking bad about the, the Easy Bake Ovens. That's how you make real money. Okay, Power of the Elements. The, the, the Northward Haunted Northern Coastline. And south, Dwemer live in toil, a simple place, a shield from draft. At this stand, wield mage's craft, so fierce the sea will boil. I don't remember what this is. So... I'm gonna look at the map. What are they talking about? I think this is gonna be too much for me to do right now. So... Let's see if we wait. Um, hmm. Oh, Shalador's writings and Fort Fellhammer. I'll go in there. We'll wait like 24 hours and maybe Arniel Gain will talk to us again. Are we going to have to... Oh, yep, we're going to have to. There's some bandits. Hey, buds. I'm going to switch my spell in my hand. To yeah, just some flames. Why not? Ow! Hey now. <laughs> and they're not dead, of course. You ready to die today? Nice. Roger, welcome back. Hey. Uh, you know, I've eaten some from a, a an easy bake oven before. You know. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I, I, I want to shout at them. I'm just gonna hit them. It's gonna take too long to shout. Just gonna pop back over and drop down here and go into the garrison. Take the books. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Paralyzed. Sorry, but uh, I have a a paralyzation spell on my children sword, so you're kind of screwed, buddy. But I'll take your beer. And I'll take Shalador's insights. 
And that's good enough. Cool. Later. Oh, I do watch uh, How to Drink. How to Drink is, uh, you know, he's he's kind of uh, inspired a lot of the content on my channel. I mean, not this content, but, uh, you know, a lot of the video stuff. Uh, I think he's, he's pretty awesome. Um, How to Drink does cool stuff, and if I had more time to, like, you know, write, edit, etc., uh, I would probably make similar drink content to, to How to Drink. So, you know, if you don't know who Greg from How to Drink is, you should check him out. All right, let's talk to Ureg. Ureg? Greetings, Archmage. I wanna, nope, I don't wanna buy that. Uh, I found more of Shalador's work. Excellent. And I explored his maze I'll start earlier in the stream. It. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Okay, thanks, buddy. Uh, have you made any progress translating Shalador's work? I only just got my hands on it. <laughs> I can only work so quickly. I had to check. Bye. Mm hmm. Aw. Ancano's body is gone. Jazargo, why do you have a bow? You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. No. What do you need? I want to take that bow away from you. Thank you. They have seen you have spells, it dude. Come on. Arch -mage. You're a mage, dude. It is no, no, yeah, his, his editing and writing is mm, fantastic stuff. Uh, and I, I mean, his, his video where he tasted, like, all of the margaritas and, <laughs> like, comparing what tequilas were, were good in it, uh, that, like, almost broke him. That was a very, it's a, I really like that video. Um, okay. Well, shoot, guys. We're gonna do that quest where we kill the, I guess we'll do the Tolftir's Alembic too, cause I know it's just in the college somewhere. But I wanna kill the rogue wizard first. Back to Mizulf, we've fast traveled here three times. Uh, in this stream alone. Okay, down we go. Let's take care of this rogue wizard. Uh, on our unicorn. Which, you know, we didn't get enough time with the horse frost, but there was a unicorn nearby, and so, like, we kind of had to go that route, you know? To Crag Swallow Slope. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess we're gonna have to fight some folks. I am master of the arcade. No, you're not. <laughs> Easy. Thank you for your help, Jazargo. I. His Alembic, I'm pretty sure, is just somewhere in the college. Um, I know I've seen it before. Sorry, guy, but... Uh... Nope, wait. Uh, I always gotta look at tables like this because I'm paranoid that the uh, uh, Stones of Baron's Eye are gonna be on them. Hi. Bite. Bite. And we done it. Come here, 
rogue wizard. And it's gonna blow up. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal or eat something. Let's see if we have any food. I never eat food. Well, that wasn't enough food, but whatever. Okay. I do like, you know, just a, a Storm Atronach that isn't summoned, but it's just kind of there. Hi. Huh. Well, we killed the rogue wizard, but I guess we should explore here, huh? Later, Jess. See you next week. We might do some Thieves Guild stuff. I'm kind of feeling that for the next stream. Um, no promises, but I'm leaning that way. Uh, huh? Hi. All right. Easy enough. Um, Well, good question, bud. Uh, we already killed the wizard we were supposed to kill, so what else could be down here, huh? A bow of Animus. That's quite the uh, tempting enchantment, but no, I don't think I'm going to go for it. I'm trying to summon zombies and stuff in here, huh? Lunar Lorcan. We read this book, I think, in a previous uh, stream. Whew. Yeah, we did. I think it might have been the last stream. Oh, uh, man. What a book. What a lore book. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna. Someone there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna just mosey on out of here. I really want to do, or want Arniel's uh, stuff to get wrapped up. So I think if we wait like 24 hours, we'll be able to talk to him about the final stage of his plan. We should be able to. I hope so. Because, uh,. While I enjoy it, I do kind of, uh, I think I want to see the end of that quest. Let's see. We killed it, and... Nope. Yep. Yep, yep. Back in here. Oh, a dragon. Oh boy. We'll get it to land in the courtyard. Come on. We're just gonna dual wield for this. With Nettle Bane. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Land, over here. Thank you. And there we go. All we needed. Oh, we 
also need to do the uh, Dragonborn DLC. What manner of magic is this? That's how he sounds. I'll take the blood. I don't want the meat. I'll take that and that and I guess that. It's really. Uh, speaking of Anthir, where you got, man? And dear, there you are. Hey, buddy. So did Carlia send you again, or are you here on your own this time? What do you give me for these? I've got coin, and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Let's sell you. Well, I'll sell him the glass armor. And all of my dragon bones and all of my dragon scales. Well, I guess a fraction of my dragon scales, apparently. Yep, and good enough. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Okay. Uh, no, you're Sergius, I'm looking for Arniel. Hey. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Uh, have you unraveled the mystery of the dwarves yet? No, and at this rate, I never shall. Mm. Enther is once again holding out on me. Ah. He refuses to deliver yet another item absolutely essential to my work. Ah. I am close, so close. You must force him to see reason. We just talked. What do you want me to say to Enther? I He's right know. behind I you. I don't know. I've already agreed to pay him quite handsomely for the, well, the item in question. Okay. Just do whatever it takes to get him to stop lording this over me. Okay. I'm going to talk to him. He's right behind you, though. All right, then. And everyone's going to watch us have this conversation. <sighs> the wind blows me that Oops. old in this place. Uh, and dear. Uh, nope, not the dragon. And dear. Hey. So did Carlia send you again, or are you here on your own this time? You can tell that voice line was clipped, like, in the middle. <laughs> Uh, you're holding out on Arniel again. Oh, by the divines, you too? I've already told him I don't have it. What sort of payment do you expect this time? I'm not running any more errands for you. What sort of payment do you expect this time? Nothing, nothing at all. Arniel already overpaid for whatever it is. You're not listening to me. I don't have it i'm listening but i set up the whole deal a courier was supposed to be bringing it from morrowind he never arrived okay the deal was already done the thing just never showed up i can't help that what is it arniel wanted you to get i don't know he never told me he made most of the arrangements himself. He just needed it transported from Morrowind. That's what I agreed to help with. If I'd known it was so important to him, I'd have charged him more. Uh, where's the courier? I don't know. Are you not listening at all? It was a simple task, so I didn't keep close tabs on it like I do with the dangerous stuff. Last I'd heard, he was crossing the border from Morrowind into the Rift. If you're getting involved in this, that would be where you'd start looking. Okay. Why is this suddenly so important, anyway? <sighs> Come on, bud. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. But first, gotta talk to Dolph Deer. Okay, uh, I'm... You know what? I know, I know that I've seen Tolftir's alone. Greetings, before. Archmage. Hey, bud. Good to see you. Um, the Jarl has been appeased. What am I? Okay. Very good. I hope this will allow oh, us to maintain our reputation. About the rogue wizard. Whoops. Um. Okay. Well, uh, what was it you were missing? My alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. Hmm. Uh, is there anything I should be aware of? Actually, yes, Archmage. I believe there is. We've been contacted by the mm. Jarl of Morthal. It would seem there's some sort of disturbance. Mm. From what few details we were given, it sounds quite familiar. I suspect that the power released by the Eye of Magnus was not fully contained and has coalesced in this part of Skyrim. 
I do hope you still have the staff of Magnus someplace. I suspect you're going to need it. Yeah, it's somewhere. Um, we'll close it Until later. next time. Later, pal. Um, I'll find your Alembic. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, we are going to be doing some courier tracking in Arniel's Endeavor, but first, I swear... Have you heard from your I can find uh, Tolftir's Alembic in record time. Uh, that's too bad. I think he misplaced it either in here or in the Archmage's quarters. Um, on a shelf. Because it, it's just a thing that looks really weird. Like, it looks like a tiny little alchemy thing. And I want to just find it so I don't have to have that quest in my inventory. So let's take a little breather here at the college to uh, see if we can find it. Um, I think we're just going to have to check the Archmage's quarters. Let's see. Nope. Yep. I like I'm 99% sure it was in here. Let's see. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's on a shelf somewhere. Ooh. Stone of Berenziah, speaking of. We're halfway there. Look at that, everyone. Well, clearly not. I do want that potent frenzy poison, and I want to reverse pickpocket somebody very badly. Um, it's not in here. I don't know where it is. I've, I've. I swear I've found it before very easily so hmm. we're going into the Arcanium or Arcanium hmm. one of those uh, we'll look around in here we'll look in the Hall of Conjuration mm -hmm. hi Orthorn um I'll know it when I see it. It's not in here. That goes straight to Skyrim. This goes to the Hall of the Elements. We're gonna, yeah, go to the Hall of Countenance first. Because I think you might have forgotten it in here. Let's see. Do we, yeah, we'll just go up the stairs and look up here. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Arniel. Good to see you. Enthir really doesn't have whatever it is you asked him for. What? I, I don't understand. Where is it? Uh, it left Morrowind, but it never arrived here. The courier uh, never arrived with it. Uh, it left Morrowind, but it never arrived here. No, 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 no! This can't be happening! It can't be lost. It just can't. It's irreplaceable. Do you understand? Without it, I cannot finish my work. All these years, so much time, so much energy. You must find it. It cannot end this way. Not after I've worked so hard. What is this thing that's so important? It... it's very valuable. Critical to my work. And one of a kind. That's all I care to say for now. Didn't you tell Anthir this was valuable? Have you lost your mind? Think, please, just for a moment, about what he would do if he knew its true value. Hmm. Do you really believe he would honor our agreement, or go running off to the highest bidder? Please, you must set this right. 
I'm begging you. I can do that. Always good talking to you, friend. Yeah. Greetings, yeah. Archmage. Greetings, Kalat. You consider restoration a valid school of magic, worthy of study, don't you? Don't you? Of course it's valid. Good. Good. Not that I require validation, of course. <laughs> there are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. All right. Thanks. Um, so you treated badly because of your work? Well, no, not really. Not directly, I mean. But I know things are being said behind my back. Conversations cease when I enter rooms. I'm quite aware of what's going on here, and I will not stand for it. All right. Uh, I'll ask her that later. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to start another quest right now, and I know that's going to start another quest. Where is Tolfdir's Alembic? I should just not do this right now. I think I should go find that courier. But I, oh, found it. And look at that. I told you guys. I told you. Tolfdir's Alembic is on the second floor in the Hall of Countenance. Just sitting on this barrel. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Archmage. Greetings. Um, also, Stereo, what does Alembic mean as an animator? I am uninformed. Oops, I turned off. Nope, I didn't. What? Oh. Uh, I meant to turn off Tolf Deers really quick. And go find that courier. Where's the cur Oh, over here. Just uh, hanging out in Redwater Den. Ah, classic. We've been there. We've cleared it, but uh, I bet it's repopulated at this point. Oh, hi. Hey. 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 We've cleared this place before. We'll do it again. Hey. Hey. Well, guys, my kill cams are a little off. Not gonna lie. Oh, what's what's happening? I'm absorbing a dragon soul. What? What? I'll take it. I'll take it. also going to use our uh, Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal right now. Which doesn't seem to be working, but uh... yeah. Easy. So hungry all the time now. Are you? And I don't see any. Dr Normally, there are a bunch of druggies out here, but go somewhere in here. Yeah, maybe, but that's not the focus. But ah, I see stereo. Huh? Hi, vampires. I I you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna open this door. Take Keening from this courier who unfortunately got abducted. We already know that spell. And we'll kill all these people. Hi. You were saying. 
Where did he go? There he is. Uh, Watcher of Stones. Ooh. I don't think I've seen that book. Okay. Well, we're out of here. I don't care to re-explore Redwater Den. Thank you very much. Okay, all these people are dead. And there's no dealer, come on. All empty? Dang. Dang. Ooh, lightning arrows? Don't mind if I do. Doing some front flips. Okay, uh, Keening won't kill you when you equip it, um, but if you use it on a particular soul gem, it will disappear you. Sergius. Um, let's just head into the Hall of Countenance and uh, present Keening to uh, the person who wants it. Arnie. Greetings, Archmaid. Good to see you. I have the dagger you wanted. The dagger? Duh! By Akatosh, they didn't even wrap it correctly. You didn't touch it, did you? Well, no. Of yeah, course, you must have. Did you attempt to wield it? Yeah, I did. And you're not dead? Nope. Gods, it's a wonder it's in one piece. Um, so you have everything you need now. What's the big deal about this dagger? So what's next? We'll go with, what's the big deal about this dagger? This is not just a dagger. This is a dwarven artifact beyond nearly all value. A singular instrument of immense power. A tool of impossible import. Keening and its counterpart, Sunder. Used by the tonal architects of the Dwimmer to tap into the heart of Lorcan. I think you can get Sunder uh, as part of the uh, anniversary edition. So you have everything you need now. I do. I do indeed. Keening, one of the great tools of Kagranak himself, is finally in my possession. I don't think I really believe this day would come. So, what's next? Now, now we see whether my theories are correct. I apologize if I have not been clear about my work. I didn't want to discuss it for fear this moment might never come. Everyone knows the dwarves disappeared. No one knows why. This little experiment is a first step in recreating the events of their disappearance mm -hmm. in an effort to unravel that mystery. We Back in the, the heart of a dead breath. god, I'm substituting the crystal you helped craft in its place. I also lack Sunder, the counterpart to the dagger Keening. I am reasonably edition, confident, buddy. however, that this will still work. I certainly don't expect it to have quite the same results. I'm no tonal architect, of course. Well, I suppose it's time, isn't it? Let's see what happens. You, uh, you may want to stand back a step or two. But please, don't leave. You've been instrumental in this process. I'd like you to see the results firsthand. Oh, me too. Right then. Uh... Hmm. That... That didn't really do anything, did it? Perhaps a little harder. Please, try. I don't understand. This should produce some notable effect. Work, damn you! We did it. <laughs> and he's gone. And we have Keening. Um, I think Sunder and Wraithguard are um, 
things that uh, are possible in um well, I I hmm. I think that they are obtainable in anniversary edition. Um what we're going to do though we now have a really good summon spell. Summon the shade of Arnie O'Gain. <laughs> wherever the caster is pointing. So this isn't necessarily a, conf a confirmation of what happened to uh, the Dwemer, but it's kind of an indication of something that, you know, may have happened to them uh, or something similar, given that, you know, he did this not perfectly, but uh, this may be a smaller scale version of uh, what happened to the dwarves. Uh, when they tried to use the the weapon on uh, Lorcan. He does not come back uh, un except through a, a conjuration spell. <laughs> so he's uh, this is just the only way we can encounter him again is is uh as a conjured person. So, yeah. Uh, he is just a, a shade now, a spectral entity. But, uh, you know. I don't know. Maybe he should have tried to get all the parts. And I wish he could talk still and, like, explain stuff, but no, he cannot. Also, dude, out of her room. Come on. Greetings, Archmage. I found what you were looking for. Also, he's, you know, dead, kind of. Ah, yes, there it is. Thank you so much. Yep. You bet. <laughs> uh... Mm -hmm. Thanks, bud. Um... If you have a moment, could you help me with something? Uh, what? Greetings, Archmage. May I help you, Archmage? What do you need help with? We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Um... Okay, I'll help. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Shazargo. He's with me. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. Okay. There. Now I... Oh, dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, what happened? Do you... Do you feel all right? You look very... Um... Green. Yeah, I feel green. I am so very sorry. I can't move. I went over this again and again. And I was sure it would have better results. Uh, tell me this isn't... Well, tell me this isn't permanent. What'd you do? What'd you do? I'm not really sure. I think it's just a minor miscalculation on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine. And then we can try again. In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. Uh, so Winterhold used to be full of dark elves, huh? Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. Do you like it here at the college, though? So far. If only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be. I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Alright, well, thanks. Mm -hmm. Um... I guess I'll just be green for a bit. Um... Come, Jazargo, and I suppose the, the ghost is gone. Um... We're going to do the Legends Lost. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? And it's too late to do this now. Um, unless... 
actually. Let's look. Hall of Attainment. Skyrim. Yeah. It's too late at this point. Shoot. I should have saved over in the Hall of Countenance. But uh, we can do the quest. Legends Lost. Which uh, gets you Sunder and Wraithguard. And maybe we could have changed the outcome of the Arneal Gain quest. But at this point, there's no way of knowing. And I'm not going to go back and do all of that. Because that's a lot of work. But uh, let's figure it out. Oh, and Berlina's... Berlina's spell war off. Um, later, stereotypo. Uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next stream. Um, I'm going to go grab Sunder and Wraithguard real quick. And uh, maybe we'll get to do something cool. But next week, I'm, I'm really feeling some Thieves Guild next week, so... Hello, giant. I don't want to kill you, but I will if I have to. Hi. Okay. Love it. CD guards note. Okay, Telvani handed what the cargo ought to us at the checkpoint. They seemed a bit on edge, but they aren't sharing details exactly. Just that they were attacked by dwarven machines. Bunch of, bunch of useless, well, bunch of useless fetchers, all of them. We also had a surprise visit from the Hlalu caravan. The whole crew was an odd bunch, more scholars and farmers than warriors, I'd say, but a few were just my type. I tried to chat it up with a fetching raven-haired girl, but she kept those sultry red eyes fixed on the cargo as it changed hands. In any case, the main package is secured, but there's fear it was damaged during transport. Oddly, the Hlalu captain didn't seem too concerned about it. He and the boss talked for a bit by themselves. I tried my luck with the raven-haired tart once more. Ew, creepy. And she told me her name was Velin. Uh, or Velna? Mm, I'm gonna go with Velin. Uh, she asked whether Captain Inotis would be at the next checkpoint. I told her no, but the truth is I didn't even know. I don't know why she cared anyway. Their cargo is a decoy. The real package is going to Inderil at the next stop. Once that's delivered, I'm hearing we might stop for a day or two in Whiterun to get our bearings. The captain of the Inderil caravan is a Nord, and he mentioned heading over to the Hall of the Dead to pay his respects. That's fine. I'll be paying mine at the tavern. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to buy sweet little Valin a drink. Well, a little creepy, but uh, I did read the note. I just read the note. Come on, man. Well, uh, what was that note called? CD guards note. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, we read it. Find evidence in White Run. Are you married? You look the type. Hey. Make sure you treat your wife. How'd you know? I mean, Nikolai's not married, but Nicholas is married. Okay, to the Hall of the Dead. Boop. Boop. To the catacombs. And I assume this person's dead. Yep, skeleton. Hi. Oh, another. I didn't see the other one. Someone there? You do the killing. Come on, man. You can do it. Good work. I had nothing but faith in you. Caravan captain's note. Uh, 
I would love to read that. We met with Sa Sadras and picked up the cargo. At least their captain seemed in better spirits, but the others looked exhausted. To make matters worse, Theo was flushed with news about the caravans who didn't make it, sieged by dwarven automatons on the road to Whiterun. My worry is such fears will find their way into the minds of my men, especially when the details of their stories seem to corroborate. It only serves to throw more kindling on the flame. Hopefully the other captains have a plan. We've had a few deserters already, and we'll need every available body if these attacks continue. It'll be difficult to convince the men to leave the safety of the tavern for the terrors of the unknown. Even without this dwarven nonsense, the road ahead will only get more perilous given the copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. Captain Inotis has uh, asked us to take a detour with the dress caravan to Falkreath. Staying off the main road might provide us some cover. Wow. Gotta love just a zigging and zagging fetch quest, man. Um, hi. Tell me, do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? Yes. Uh, god of death, I know him well. The gods aren't a big part of my life. I'm not sure. Tell me about him. The god of death, I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need oh, your help. Boy. You see, I've lost something precious. I should have stopped a while ago, guys. Uh, what did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. Baby. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I should have talked to him before I went in. The dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Yeah, I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Thanks, friend. I'm gonna grab it. It's right there. We killed all the skeletons already. Ah. Open. Grab. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you're right, Roger. It wouldn't be right to not do it. Okay, here you go. As White Run's priest of RK, I spread his word whenever I'm able. In the meantime, most of my hours are spent with the city's dearly departed. Well, I found your amulet. Oh, thank RK! Please. Take this gold for your troubles. Thanks, man. It was uh, a pleasure. Well worth the 15 gold. Uh, okay. I am thinking... Yeah, we're just gonna try to power through this Legends Lost as much as we can. I kind of... I still wish that uh, I had done this quest first because like I doubt they would have made it like change um, the outcome of the Arneal gain quest but it would be cool to know if, if it actually could or not but ultimately whatever leave me alone Spriggan I'm going this way I'm not going to deal with you I'm going to this and what do we have here An attunement crystal. The lens letter. Ooh. Inados, uh, the reports are right. Wraithguard and Sunder are singing, sending a signal out to anyone that might be listening. I don't know how, but I think I know why. The tools were only meant to be used on Numidium. It makes sense that they would never be allowed to leave Morrowind. To ensure this, Kagranak must have put in a failsafe system. If the tools were ever stolen, drones would be activated across Tamriel to recover them. The drones would then store the items in a vault until a tonal architect could fetch them. Unfortunately, as I suspected, that information was enough for some of the captains to betray us and change course. They no longer care about the artifacts or the job. They consider the cargo to be a death trap and are taking measures to unload it. Your caravan must think they were carrying the tools, but Sadrus and Halalu were... 
swapped them before we even got to Whiterun and intentionally gave them up to the retrieval drones. Fortunately, I managed to track the drones back to a vault near Winterhold. Uh, what the locals call the Sightless Pit. I've also discovered the vault can be opened with an attunement crystal, which I've sent along with this letter. As I am no warrior, I dare not venture inside without you. Hopefully this message reduces your party in time, for I know we are of like mind. As a scholar, I want to see the artifacts delivered to my master, and you have always been someone who does not shirk his duty. I have faith that you and your crew can return north and repair this mistake. Malin. I did read it. I literally just read it. A very poorly scripted uh, quest in that, like, if you read it when you pick it up, it doesn't register. Vault in the Sightless Pit. Um, I guess we have to kill this thing after all. Fine. I can't fast travel unless I do that, so... We're gonna do that. Come here. Uh, it's nice that she was paralyzed because then she couldn't heal herself because the Spriggans have a tendency to do that. Okay, to the sightless pit. We're not going into this cave to Zargo. We are going into a different cave. And we actually might just pick up the quest later. Hi, cultists. Mirak, help me. The rightful dragonborn comes soon. Yeah, probably. Come on, come here. Get closer. Ah, come on. Come here. I missed. Got one. I wish there were like riding kill cams. That would have been fun. Ah, Frost Troll. Good to see. And he killed a goat. And swing. So, oh, missed. And swing. Got him. Oh, and there are two more. Lovely. And got you. And got, oh, I tried. <sighs> well, if you can catch up. I don't think the sightless piss, the sight, sightless piss, sightless pit is super big. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't remember it being huge. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on those trolls. We're going into the pit. I'm just gonna try to speed run this. There's overlapping songs right now. This is wild. Oh no. This is gonna just be really long, huh? No, okay, that's not that bad. Hi. Got him. Down into the pit. Hello. Now where's the Zargo? Oh man. Uh, guys, I might have bitten off more than I can chew, but I can't not finish this now. Hi. Done. 
done. Done. Onward. Hello, you rat. Oh my gosh. Nice. Temple of Zrib. Hmm? Thank you, Jazargo, for tagging along. Let's go into the Temple of Zrib together. Temple. Quite the temple, huh? Easy. I'm just not even looting. I'm so done. I should do a little looting. But we're I I can Boy feel it. We're close. We find in here. Well we're looking for Sunder and Keening, pal, but I appreciate your uh your childlike wonder. I do. I'll take it, I'll take it. It's okay. We're gonna do this. We're speed running this bad boy. Okay, we gotta get up there. Can we cheese it? Can we no clip? I'm not gonna no clip. I just I'll just go around. Just go around. And what? Just quite the uh, quite the long walk, huh? Ah! Easy. Oh, not what I wanted. I wanted to do this. <laughs> bye bye. I don't even care if it didn't kill it. Drink a potion now. That was really close. Well, that uh, other Falmer is still out and about. That's fine. I don't care. Maybe I do care a little, but I don't care that much. Is anything in here? Nothing great. Up into the abandoned cave. Yeah, Jazargo just had to practice, you know. Ah, I guess that way. Although I thought... Well, we'll go that way later. I want to go over here and get this thing. Hey, yay, yay, yay. Activate the pedestal with the thing. 
the attunement crystal. Enter the vault in the sightless pit. Or are we gonna have to fight our way through some automatons? Is that what's up down here? Find a way to open the gates. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna do this later. We're gonna do this on the next stream. I need to go to bed. So, we are gonna save here. <laughs> I didn't mean to start all this, but we did. So, here we are. Uh, we'll just pick back up here. Um, and then maybe do some Dwarven stuff, maybe do some, uh, Maybe do some Thieves Guild. I think we'll go Thieves Guild eventually, but uh, yeah. I need to go to bed though. That was uh, that was some ADHD out the wazoo. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching everybody. Um, definitely check out Coffee People Zine, issue number 19, Dark. I am in it. Uh, there is a secret video that you can only access through the magazine to watch. Um, so check it out. Um, and Roger, you are correct. It is way bigger in the sightless, sightless pit than uh, I thought it was going to be. So it's pretty wild. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just fight our way through that and see what's up. Um, but uh, yeah cool well i will see you guys on uh next week's stream thank you for all the love on uh last week's main channel video um and more main channel videos to come and also uh more uh you know we have a cool stream coming up not just next week but the week after i'm gonna try to do a fun scotch stream because it will be um robert burns day on that stream so um we're gonna just do a, a fun you know scotch flight um and uh yeah do some do some tasting of some different scotches and maybe even do uh or uh make a couple scotch cocktails and uh i think it'll be fun so see you next week and then see you the week after for the robert burns stream um, cool. All right. Well, uh, until then, cheers, everybody. See you later.